Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Dividing radical expressions where you have a binomial in the denominator. This page is full of vocabulary, so let's go ahead and review some of it. First thing, binomial means you have an addition or a subtraction, a difference or a sum of two terms. So if you look in the bottom of all the examples I'm about to do, look in the denominators, you'll see each one has a sum or a difference that involves a radical or a square root. Okay, here's the strategy we're going to use. Multiply the top and bottom by 1, but it's going to be a clever form of 1. It's going to be the conjugate of the denominator. Conjugate is defined as well. The conjugate of a plus root b would be a minus root b. What I do is I change that, um, that sign there. If it's a sum, it becomes a difference. Different becomes a sum. And the reason why that's clever is because if I do it correctly, my radical terms in the denominator will cancel out. Let's try it. Enough talk. <laughs> okay, so for the first one, I want to look at the bottom and decide what the conjugate is. The conjugate of 1 plus root 2 would be 1 minus root 2. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 1 minus root 2. On the top, I'll distribute the 3. 3 minus 3 root 2, fine. On the bottom here, I need to FOIL. FOIL meaning firsts, outers, inners, lasts. And you'll notice those two inner terms cancel out, so I really have just 1 minus 2 there, which is negative 1. My whole bottom just comes into negative 1, and I'm happy because there's no longer any radicals in the bottom. Okay, simplify that. I'll have negative 3 plus 3 root 2. Let's try another one. First thing I want to do is figure out what's the conjugate of the bottom. That would be 5 plus root 12. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5 plus root 12. On top, I'll just distribute the 8 and I'll um, worry about simplifying 8 root 12 later. On the bottom, when I FOIL firsts, my outers and inners are going to cancel out. It's going to be positive 5 root 12, negative 5 root 12. They go away, and that's, that's I did that on purpose. Like, that's that um, conjugate in work. Okay, so my bottom is just 25 minus 12, which is 13. All right. Okay, so I'm almost there. I just need to simplify this 8 root 12 bit. So um, instead of root 12, I'm going to break that into a product of factors such that one of my factors is a perfect square. Like I wouldn't use 6 and 2 because neither 6 nor 2 has a square root. I'm going to use square root of 4 times square root of 3 because square root of 4, of course, is regular old 2. Okay, so here's where I'm at now. 40 plus... 16 root 3 all divided by 13. That's my final answer. Before I move on, I just want to make sure that this doesn't reduce, 40 over 13 doesn't reduce, and neither does 16 over 13. Okay, that's how I know that I have the simplest form. Let's try one last one. So now I have a difference on the bottom. I want to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 5 minus root 80 would be 5 plus root 80, top and bottom. Distribute on the top, so I'll have negative 10 minus 2 root 80. I'll simplify that later. On the bottom now, I'm going to FOIL. So first gives me 25. Outers and inners cancel out. And I'm left with um, subtracting 80. So 25 minus 80 on the bottom is negative 55. Okay, making progress. No more radicals in the bottom. That's a good thing. I still need to simplify this negative 2 times root 80 bit. So instead of root 80, I'm going to rewrite that as the product of root 16 times root 5, because the square root of 16 is regular old 4. So that would be now negative 8 root 5. Negative 10 minus 8 root 5, that's my numerator. On bottom, I have negative 55. Okay, so in the previous problem, in example 2, I stopped there, except for here I can't stop there because some of this stuff is going to reduce. I'm going to rewrite it as two separate fractions. Um, minus 8 root 5 over negative 55, and the reason why is because that's easier for me to see what reduces. 10 over 55 is going to become 2 over 11, and then uh, the second part doesn't reduce. All right, there's my final answer there. So what we did with these is we multiplied top and bottom by 1, but it wasn't just 1, it was a clever form of 1. We multiplied by the conjugate of the denominator. And by 2. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of working. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a 
chain hanging from two um two fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>